Hey everybody, this is Joshua from tinyhousebasics.com and today we're going to show you a little tour of this 28 foot by 9 foot wide oversized tiny house trailer. So again, this is a 28 foot long plus a 5 foot extended tongue. The deck is 9 feet wide on standard eight and a half foot wide axles. Um, so this we actually, to transport it, uh, we need a wide load permit. So we'll go ahead and talk to you about that in another video. Uh, but right now, let's take you on a little tour and show you a little bit about this trailer. All right, so this trailer has the five foot extended tongue. Uh, standard tongue length goes to about four feet and for an extra hundred dollars you could extend it all the way to five feet which this customer did um, so we have a five foot tongue 28 foot long deck so that gives us a total length of the trailer of 33 feet so this being a deck over consists of a main frame which the axles rest on just like a traditional trailer you see right there the suspension components and then there's the subframe which is on top of the main frame so with the deck over trailer, it has a lot more steel. Um, it's generally an upcharge to get the deck over. Uh, but with this particular trailer, by doing a nine foot wide deck, we actually used the standard eight and a half foot wide axles and then built the nine foot wide deck over it. So you can see that the deck does extend past the axles by three inches on each side. So that gives us a full nine foot wide deck uh, for the whole length of the trailer. Um, so this requires a wide load permit to transport in California. So we uh, pulled the per permit, excuse me, the permit ourselves uh, to transport this. And it's about $14, actually no, it's now $16 in California. And I'm gonna do a full video on showing you the oversized permit process um, and how to apply it for your state as well. So this deck over style trailer is gonna be ideal for a single floor tiny house. So if you're gonna do a bedroom on the main floor and you don't wanna climb into a loft, uh, you will have a higher deck height. So the deck height is around 36 inches off the ground, uh, but you're not gonna have to uh, deal with building around wheel wells or framing them. Um, so you have a pretty much free uh, design rain when it comes to planning out your tiny house floor plan. So you don't have to worry about covering up the wheel wells, which normally be there. Uh, the deck over also allows some extra flexibility. Um, being that the deck is so much higher off the ground, you do have a lot of room underneath for built-in storage, or if you have water tanks or gray water tanks, um, there's a lot of opportunities for extra creative storage, um, or for even hiding the utilities of the trailer underneath that. So this is all a fully box tube frame, like all of our trailers. Um, so you have the heavy duty four by uh, two cross, cross members, um, and then a six inch by two inch box tube mainframe. And then we have the full wraparound tongue, which goes all the way up to the hitch, all the way back to the axles. And then we actually have a eight by two support right here for the axles. So that's an eight by two box tube frame. Going back to the hitch, we have our coupler right here uh, connected to our B&W uh, stow and go hitch. Um, an adjustable hitch is really nice so you can raise it and lower it to match uh, the towing height of your trailer. That way you can see with this trailer, we adjusted the hitch so you can have a full flat surface. If it was too low, then the trailer would be right and high in the back. And if it was too high, then the trailer would be high and then the back would be dipping down. So with a deck over trailer like this, it gives us a lot of flexibility um, and be able to get in the right height. But if you're having like a drop axle trailer, um, it is more crucial to have a level trailer and towing surface. Also, once the house is fully built, um, you'll definitely wanna make sure that the trailer is always level. Um, that will make it easier when you're backing into uh, driveways or upgrades. You always wanna have an adjustable hitch that will allow you to raise and lower it. And we'll do another little review on our new um, hitch soon, uh, but this is the B&W Stow and Go Hitch. 
So that is a quick little tour of this 28 foot by nine foot wide deck over tiny house trailer. Um, this is going to be turned into a tiny house shell and it's actually gonna be a mobile veterinarian office. So we're gonna have some more updates on that later uh, on our website. And uh, to go ahead and request a custom quote, you can go right here, tinyhousebasics.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys later.